Hello lovely people. Welcome back to another interesting sewing tutorial. We are going to learn how to draft this beautiful summer top that you see on the screen. If today is the first time of you seeing me, you are welcome to my channel and to my returning subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. So if you are interested, let's go straight into the tutorial. So this is my pattern paper. My pattern paper is on four. You see? So this is my shoulder line. This is my chest line. This is my bust line. Under bust and my waist line. First thing it will be for me to mark my shoulder measurement divide by two. Can you see? Then I'll go ahead and mark my Neck measurement. I'll slope my shoulder by one inch. I'll connect it to my neck weight. If I come to my chest line, I will put my shoulder measurement divided by two. Just so I can connect a straight line here. My half of this line. Then on that point, I will come in by half of an inch. Then I will come to my chest line again and impute my bust measurement, divide by four. I will connect my shoulder. So. Can you see? The next thing will be for me to impute my dart. So I will mark my bust span measurement divided by two on my bust line, my under bust line, and my waist line. That is a full length line. I will connect to form a straight line. Can you see? Then I'm going to mark one inch that intake towards my center front. I will mark it on my under bust line and also on my waist line. I will connect the line. Then Towards my side front, I'm going to mark 1.5. As you can see me doing so, starting from this line, I will mark my 1.5. Can you see? I will connect to form a straight line. Then I will use my curve roller to connect from my bust point to my under bust as I'm doing so. The next thing will be for me to mark my other horizontal measurement. I will mark my boss measurement divided by four. On my boss line, I will connect it to my chest line. Then I'm going to mark my waist measurement divided by four. So I will mark it. Then I will add my dart allowance. Remember, we impute one inch on the other side and 1.5, making it 2.5 dart intake. So I will add that 2.5. So I will join the points using a straight line. So the next thing that will be for me to replot my neckline. So I will determine where I want the neckline to be. So I want it to be 6 inches below my shoulder line. So I will mark 6 inches. So I will connect to form a straight line. The next thing now will be for me to tighten the upper chest line. So I will come to my shoulder line. I will mark half of the shoulder line. As you can see me doing so. Then I will connect it to my bust point. Can you see? Then I'm going to impute a dart. And the dart I'm going to impute on the upper chest line will be one inch dart intake. That is half inch on both sides of the line. Can you see? Then I'll connect it to my boss point as well. So the next thing will be for me to replace this my one inch dart on my arm O. So I will go ahead and replot a new arm O. Can you see? I will measure the one inch. Then I will redraw my arm O.
the next thing will be for me to add my seam allowance so i'm making use of 1.5 inches seam allowance then for my hemming allowance i'm going to make use of 0.5 inch can you see i will connect it the next thing will be for me to impute my boss that so i'm making use of 1.5 inches boss that i'll connect it to my boss point i'll go ahead and replot my sweetheart neckline you can make it deeper you can just make it to your chest line it all depends on how deep you want it to be so i will connect it as you can see me doing so can you see so i will go ahead now and cut my pattern So these are my pattern set for the front can you see how it looks like so when cutting on your fabric make sure you add your joining allowance so let's draft the back pattern now my pattern paper is on full and i've made some of my markings this is my shoulder line my chest line and my waist line and that is my zipper allowance so all my marking will start from this other line so I will impute my shoulder measurement divide by two. Then I will mark my neck. That is neck width of three inches and neck depth of one inch. I'm going to connect with my ruler. The next one will be for me to mark my shoulder measurement on my chest line. And I'm going to slope my shoulder by half inch for the back. I will connect my shoulder slope. Then I will connect my shoulder slope to the chest line. As you can see me doing so. Then I'm going to impute my bust measurement on my chest line as well. And I'm going to measure half of this line. The same way we did for the front actually. Then I will come in by half of an inch and I will connect my point. Can you see? then coming to my waistline i'm going to mark my bust pan measurement divide by two i'll mark same on my chest line then on my chest line i'll come down by one inch can you see then i'm going to connect to form a straight line i will open my dart by one inch that is half inch on both sides of the lines then i'll connect it can you see then i will go ahead and impute my waist measurement that is the waist circumference divided by four plus one inch that intake so i will connect it to my chest line can you see then i will replot my neck line as well for the back so remember for the front i came down by six inches but for the back i want it to be deeper than the front so i'll come down by seven inches then i'll connect my point can you see so now let's tighten the waistline to eliminate the zipper bogging at the waist so i will come in by 0 0.75 from my center back then i will connect it to my new neck depth can you see so now let's mark our new zipper allowance so i'm making use of 1.5 inches can you see our zipper allowance is not straight because of the shaping of the waist line so i'll go ahead and add my hemming allowance i will also add my seam allowance Remember, we made use of 1.5, so I'm using the same 1.5. Can you see? So I'll go ahead and cut my pattern down. So 
so this is my pattern set for the back can you see so this is my complete pattern set for the front and also for the back so make sure when you're putting on your fabric you add your drop on five inch joining allowance here 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 and here so now let me go ahead and join it after joining it i will show you how to go about with the sleeve this is how it looks like after joining the panels can you see how beautiful it looks like and this is the back side it looks so cute for the sleeve the band on the sleeve you can decide to measure it while you put it on or you can still use your pattern you measure how many inches this is 5.25 that is for the front and for the back I'm going to start from that point of 5.25 can you see i'm taking it down all the way from to here this 11.75 then my journey allowance to the back and my journey allowance to the front i'm going to put about two inches so approximately my band will be 14 inches long that is to join on the front and for the back so i'm going to cut two 14 inches for the two then i'm going to gather the ruffle and the width of my band i just need something about 1.5 inches Then for the gathers, I'm going to cut a strip of fabric that measures 3 inches by 22 inches. You can make it longer than that, depending on how full you want it to be. Then I will gather it and attach it to the band. After attaching it to the band, I will attach it to my top. The same way we did for this one, repeat the same for this one. So this is the final outcome of this tutorial so thank you so much for watching remember to like comment share and subscribe to our channel turn on your notification bell so that when i upload new snow tutorial you'll be notified see you on next video Bye bye